Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. The word cement means a substance that acts as a binding agent for a material. It can be defined as a finely grounded mixture of a calcium aluminate and the silicate of a varying compositions which hydrate when mixed with the water to form a rigid continuous structures with a good compressive strength. It is a fine grey powder that is used for a construction purpose. Cement has a property to form a paste by adding of water. This paste adhere to the aggregate like a sand, brick, stone and some other substance. Inorganic cement can be divided into a hydraulic and the non-hydraulic types according to the way in which they set and the harden. Hydraulic cement materials are capable of a setting and the hardening under the water and the non-hydraulic cement harden in the air and hence cannot be used in the underwater. Cement consists of a lime, alumina, silica, iron oxide and the gypsum. Lime is a major constituent of a cement about 60 to 67 percent. It increases the setting time of a cement but gives the high early strength. Excess lime makes the cement unsound. Cement contains alumina about 3 to 8 percent. A high percentage of alumina tends to reduce the setting time but also increase the strength. Cement contains silica about 17 to 25 percent. It increases the strength of the cement by forming a gel. It increases the setting time of cement. Iron oxide available in the cement about 0.5 to 6 percent. It provides a strength, color, and hardness to the cement. Gypsum available in a cement about 3 to 4 percent. Excess amount of a gypsum increases the setting time of a cement. Cement are classified into various types like natural cement, pozzolanic cement, high aluminium cement, Portland cement, super sulfate cement, and the special sulfate cement. Portland cement are further classified into various types like ordinary Portland cement, rapid hardening Portland cement, extra rapid hardening Portland cement, white Portland cement, colored Portland cement, low heat Portland cement, Portland blast furnace cement, and sulfate resistance Portland cement. Special sulfate cement are further classified into various types like expanding cement, quick setting cement, machinery cement, sand cement water roofing cement, acid resistance cement, sorrel cement, and the slag cement. The manufacturing of a cement consists of a various steps like mixing of a raw material, burning, and then grinding. Mixing of a limestone and the clay can be done by a two process. One is a wet process, it is an older process of a mixing, and second is a dry process. It is a modern technique of a mixing. In a dry process, the size of a limestone and the clay are reduced about 20 to 25 mm in a crusher in the beginning. Then the dry air is passed on their crushed material. This crushed material are then pulverized into a fine powder in a ball mill and a tube mill. It is then stored in a hopper. Each raw material which is pulverized separately is then mixed in a correct proportion and then it is stored in a storage tank. In a wet process, limestone is crushed by a jaw crusher and then is stored in a storage tank. The clay is thoroughly mixed with the water in a wash mill and then is stored in a storage basin. Then the crushed limestone from a storage tank and the wet clay from the storage basin are conveyed in a channel in appropriate proportion. Then the material is further carried in a grinding mill to form a slurry. This grinding process is carried out in a ball mill or a tube mill. Then this slurry is carried to the correcting basin where it is continuously stirred. At this stage, the chemical composition of a slurry is adjusted whatever is necessary. Then this corrected slurry is stored in a storage tank which is further carried out for the burning process. The burning of a raw mix is carried out in a rotatory kiln. The raw mix which is in the form of the slurry is injected at the upper end of a kiln from the storage tank and then brought it to the dry zone. In the next section of a kiln, carbon dioxide from the slurry is evaporated and the nodules are formed. These nodules are then gradually rolled down through a zone and come to the burning zone where the temperature is about 1400 to 1500 degrees Celsius. The calcined product is formed and the nodules are converted into a small hard dark greenish blue balls called as a clinker. The clinker from a rotatory kiln are finally grounded in a ball mill and the tube mill. While grinding, gypsum of about 3 to 4 percent is added so as to control the initial setting time of a cement. Addition of a gypsum in a grinding operation is necessary, otherwise, a cement can be set at an instant when the water is added. 
Then the grinding material is stored in a silos and packed in a bag and the cement is ready to use. Cement is used in a cement mortar and the cement concrete. The major work of a civil engineering in which cement is used are construction of a building, construction of a highway slabs, construction of a dam, retaining wall, bridge abutment, construction of a marine structures, canal lining, culvert, in face plastering and the ornamental work.